I would like to start this video with a thank you message and that thank you message goes to Jeremy Corbyn and the Labour Party for making sure that my Kingsland Town team were not the biggest bottle jobs of the day yesterday. Now let's move on to the playoffs in today's episode of Walks to the Prem. Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, we've got episode number 23 of the Kingsley Walks to Prem save here on Football Manager 2020. And yep guys, it's Gateshead in the playoff semi-final today, at the very least. If we get past Gateshead, I will bring you the final in this video as well. So it's going to be all the playoff drama. Hopefully there's not going to be too much drama. And we will progress rather nicely and rather easily. But as you saw in the video yesterday, we don't do things easy here. No, we don't. And if you haven't seen yesterday's video, go and check it out. It's very much worth a watch, at least for the intro alone, I think. So go and check it out. And just before we do get started and do get into the game, if you could pop a like down below if you are enjoying the series, that would be very, very much appreciated. It helps to get more eyes on the channel and the more eyes we can get. Hopefully, I can hit the big 550 subscriber target by the end of the week. That would be very, very nice. And so, yep, let's crack on with the game we are playing against gateshead nothing else has happened in between this video and the last video i'm kind of waiting until we get through the playoffs to know what league we're going to be in next season before i start concentrating on contracts and transfers and bringing players in the only thing that has happened is that we have organized another load of money grabbing fixtures for next season where are they they are over here so, yeah, we've got a load of teams coming down next season. So, we should hopefully be getting the finances maybe over the £2 million mark. What's it on now? 750 grand. So, yeah, I'm thinking maybe £2 million by the start of next season. That would be very, very nice. And so, let's go and crack on with hopefully the first of two games today. As we take on Gateshead. This is the team for today's game. We've got Barnes in goal. Wilson, Wiggett, Smith and Webb are still our back four. Webb I thought about dropping. But Sheckleford does not play well with George Brown. So Webb stays in as a default option pretty much. And then in the midfield we've got David Mbala as a winger on attack. On the left hand side, Wright and Simmons keep their places in the midfield. George Brown obviously is on the right hand side. And then it's Mundell and Marriott up top. We need at least one of them to score a couple goals today. So let's go and get into the dressing room. Before we do get into the dressing room, the bookies do have us as favourite. But neither side are in brilliant form. And we are level on wins against Gateshead in the entirety of the save. We have won three times, they've won three times, and there's been one draw. So this should be the deciding game. We've won two out of our last five. They have only won one. Let's hope we can capitalise on that poor form and get ourselves into the playoff final. Here we are, we're in the dressing room. Let's see, what team talk shall we give? I want to go assertive, I think. I know how hard you're all working to end this poor form. No, that doesn't feel right. Let's give the fans a performance they're expecting. Or if we play our game, we'll win. I think if we play our game, we'll win. Try and give them a bit more confidence after losing three on the spin. No reaction. And a few there... A few there, and can we get Marriott motivated? Yes, we can. Prediction time. 3-2. I'm going for a very nervy end-to-end -end game. 3-2 to us. Come on, you Linux. First highlight of the game 
two and a half minutes in, Taylor gets the ball for Gateshead. Off their throw in, goes past our fullback, but Wicket heads away. And Barla nods it forward, and Mundell has the ball. He goes over the top. Marriott is in. Can Marriott get his 46th of the season? No, he can't. It's saved by the keeper. Quite a poor shot, that, I think, to be honest. And that all straight away. Highlights continuing here. And all oh, Gateshead with a header, and they've taken the lead. Oh, no. Liam Laughlin with the simple tap in there. And I don't know what has happened to this team. We have gone from destroying the league to now being behind in a playoff semi-final. Very easy goal there. We need to turn this around. 17 minutes almost gone. It's our throw in deep in our own half and we've just thrown it back to them. Why have we gone for a long throw in there? And now oh, they're in. This is 2-0. No, it's not. It's a great save there. But it was offside anyway. Half hour gone. Lawrence with the ball goes long and that goes straight to Webb. Goes back to our keeper, Barnes. He kicks it long. Can one of our men get onto it? No, they can't. These long balls really don't work. I was looking in the stats for the league after we bottled the league. And we are bottom for headers one. So why we keep trying to play the ball long, I'm not quite sure. As that ball there goes out wide. And George Brown can't get onto it. And now it's Rubel to Edmondson. And now it's Knee with the ball. Come on, get it back off him. Nope, goes to Taylor. Come on, come on, get it back. Edmonton plays in. There's no fight in this team. Why aren't we closing these down? As that's a pass there. And it's 2-0. We're going 4-4-2. We are going 4-4-2 as soon as we've seen this on the replay. Oh, my gosh. We might be the biggest bottle jobs. We might be bigger bottle jobs than Jeremy Corbyn, people. Oh, this is terrible. Let's go 4-4-2. So, very early change. Whitaker coming on for Romain Mundell. We've gone to 4-4-2. We're going attacking. Help! 37 minutes gone. Webb with the ball. Throws it to Whitaker. Webb with the cross. And it's a penalty. We're back in this. We are back in this. Oh, this is the biggest kick of the ball any of our players are going to have all season. Diaz Wright has put the ball down. Takes a breath. Runs up. And it's in the back of the net. Come on. Come on, you linnets. The fight back is on. That is Diaz Wright's only fourth goal of the season. Oh, very nice penalty. Under all that pressure, can we do this? Oh, one last highlight just before half time. Knee with the ball goes to Edmondson. Taylor is in, and oh, his shot goes over the bar. Oh, just get us to half time. And we have. And well, that performance has not been good enough. Look at them stats. We are the home team here, but you wouldn't know it. Four shots. Two there, eight. Two on target. Two there, four. And only 47% of the possession. Very, very much unlike us all season. Let's get into the dressing room. And I think we go passionate. I think we go... Uh, we're not doing badly at all. Try and get the morale up, maybe. A couple of lads motivated. Passionate again. You've got what it takes. You've got what it takes. And you've got what it takes. Few people motivated there. Again, leave it for the next 10-15 minutes. And just see how we get on. Before thinking about making any other changes. An hour gone. First highlight of the second half. And can we get this ball away please? Oh, oh, oh. It's gone out for a corner ball. I thought that was going to dribble into the back of the net. And now, Taylor, with that corner ball, crosses it in. And it goes into the box, but Barnes catches it off the header. Here we go, boys. This is the changes we're making. Fitcher is coming on 
for George Brown. We've gone for more direct passing, higher tempo, shoot on sight, get rid of the hit early crosses. Crosses ain't working for us today. And as well as that, we've gone, we've changed, we've left everything as it is there. And out of possession, we've gone for higher defensive line and a higher line of engagement and get stuck in. And you know what's even more urgent pressing intensity? And let's just see what that does for what might unfortunately be the last 25 minutes of this season. Oh, it's straight after those changes. We've got the ball. Wilson with a cross. And oh, it come with the header. That was a good chance there. Just, uh, just as I say, crosses ain't working. We get a header off one. And the highlight's still going on here. As we win the ball back there, but we only head it away back to them. Taylor with the ball, but Webb wins it back. That's nice to see. Smith goes long. Whitaker with the ball. He's got Embala. Embala's in space. Come on, Embala. Come on, Embala. Oh! <laughs> 15 minutes left now. Gateshead with the ball. And they cross it into the box, but Smith heads it away. Wright has it. Come on, we need people to start making runs now. And we've gone long, but there's nobody there. Ruble with the ball, but Marriott's nicked it off him. He's dallied. Come on, Marriott. Marriott. Oh, our two star players are missing chances here. Starting to think it's not going to happen. 13 minutes left. Gateshead with the ball. Can we win this back, please? And oh, that's a bad tackle there. Oh, oh is Fitchett getting himself sent off? Please don't send him off. Please don't send him off. He's off. He's off. And we're out. Uh, answers on a postcard. Answers on a postcard. What do we do now? I'm tempted to just leave it as it is. That's what we're going to do. There's nothing else we can do, really. So, we're leaving it as is. And just see what happens. Ah, oh, last five minutes. We are going 4 2 3. We're going more direct passing, more narrow, and just trying just to hope for a miracle and get us into extra time. I don't think it's going to happen, but this is the one option I can think of. Let's go. Oh, two minutes left. And Barla with a free kick. And oh, it's been saved there. Easy save enough for their keeper. And now what is Mackenzie Lyle going to do with it? Goes to the edge of his box. He kicks it long. Can we win this back, please? No, we can't. Actually, we do on the second attempt. Smith goes long. And Marriott, what are you doing letting that ball go over you? And Barla's won it back. And Barla has won it back. And we're in. We're in. Oh, my gosh. David Mbala with a awesome equaliser. What is going on? Ten men of Kingsland. I am a tactical genius putting Mbala in that position. Oh, my gosh. Thank God for that. You know what? We've got two minutes left. I predicted 3-2. It could happen. Oh, or not, but against all odds, we are in extra time. And look at the match stats. 13 shots, 2 there 15, 5 on target, 2 there 6. It's possible. It is still possible, boys and girls. It could happen. Let's get into the dressing room. Let's go passing it. Uh, I don't know what to say. Um, there's no pr no. I'm not saying there's no pressure. Shod that. Um, unlucky boys. A few of them are motivated. And now, come on, we can do this. Come on, Kingsley. Ninety-seven minutes gone. It's our man Barnes with a free kick. He goes long, but they win it back. But we get it off their header. We get over the top. And Marriott, I think he might have been offside. But it doesn't matter anyway. He's looking a bit tired. And now can he get the ball into the box? He does. But nobody is there for him. And now it's all back and forth. Foster with the ball. Coming over the halfway line. 
Come on, we need to win this back. Edmondson goes in. Oh, Foster's in. Oh, no, I should have gone defensive. I should have tried to hold on for penalties. No, I shouldn't have. No, I shouldn't have. Barnes with the save. Oh, a minute and a half left of this half of extra time. Barnes again goes long. It goes to just somebody in a white shirt. Foster with the ball. He's gone past our man. Our man at right back, Joshua Webb, is awful. That is the one thing I'm going to be looking at in the summer. He's getting a new right back, but we've cleared it. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? Do I stay attacking or do I go do I go balanced? What do I do? Do I go balanced and try and see this out to our two penalties? I think we go tactics. I think we go positive at least. At least go positive. Maybe go for a lower defensive line or standard. I think we go standard. Leave it at that. And then start the second half. 110 minutes gone. It's then with a free kick and it's hit the post. It's hit the post, but we've got the ball away. <sighs> oh, we've given away another free kick. With what is that? Five minutes left? Foster with it. He goes for Anis in the back of the net. Oh, how has it come to this? How has it come to this? February, March, we look like we'd be going up by winning the league easy. Now, let's pause this quick. Let's go very attacking. Let's push the old defensive line back up. And, yep, leave it at that. And, yeah, look at that fitness levels. And Barla's on 63%. Marriott's on 70 Not going to happen, is it? It is not going to happen. One last highlight. I think this is just the end of game one. Ali with the ball for Gateshead. Crosses it in. Oh, don't score another one. That's harsh. That is harsh. We don't deserve to be two down. Oh. oh, well. Oh, well. We will just come back next season and we'll have to go unbeaten. That's the plan. That is the plan for next year. There we go. There is the final whistle. We've had 16 shots to their 22. Six on target to their 11. And yep, 45% of the ball. So, we have not played at all well in the last four games of this season. So, we don't really deserve to go up, I don't think. Let's go aggressive. That, was, that wasn't good enough, I'm afraid. A few of them are motivated. And so, guys, that is where we are going to leave it for today. A very disappointing end to the season. But if you've enjoyed that video, pop a mahoosive thumbs up down below. Like I said earlier, every like really does help the channel out. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 2020 content. And as well as this series, I've got a new series that I'm going to be starting up tomorrow. It's called the Passion for FM FC Challenge. And basically what it is, is we've created a brand new team, stuck them in the championship, given them £450 million to spend, but they've got no players. So we've got to make a whole squad out of that 450 odd million pounds. So it should be an interesting challenge. It should be something a little bit fun, a little bit different. And that's what I'm going to be doing on the weekends from now on. And so as well as that, check out the Passion for FM website, the Discord, the Twitter, the Facebook, as ever. Details all down below. And, yep, guys, follow me on Twitter as well, at Bad Jokes Gaming. And, yeah, boys, I shall see you tomorrow 
for the first episode of the Passionate for FM FC series. Or I'll see you Monday for the next episode in this series. Bye. Can't believe we bottled it. Cannot believe that.